Thank you for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, today I'm going to be trying a beer by Brewery. I'm very excited to try something by because I've never had any of their stuff. Uh, this is by Odell out of Fort Collins, Colorado, and it is their Barrel Thief, which is a oak barrel aged Imperial IPA, and it is 9.4% alcohol by volume. Uh, I ended up getting this because Odell actually does not distribute in Maryland, but uh, I do have the Rare Beer of the Month Club through BeerMonthClub.com, which I highly recommend. They have a lot of really good stuff come through. Um, you'll have to decide if it's worth the price, but the good thing is that if you see something coming out for a month that you're not that interested in, you can just defer and not use that month of your membership. So you can just keep basically bumping it for months until you see something you really like. So you get a lot of options, and then you can just pull the trigger without having to pay for everything along the way. So really good, beermonthclub.com, check it out. Anyway, want to get into this. A little, uh, good little cork and cage number here for the Barrel Thief. Now, I'm interested to see what happens with this because I've had hoppy beers in which they've been oak barrel aged, and I'm not a fan. And I've had it go the other way as well. Sometimes the oak works really well with it, or any wood really, uh, and sometimes it kind of just really makes the hops die out too much. God, that was a struggle. <sighs> nice pop though, very satisfying. Pour the sucker out here. Hopefully it was worth all this work, you know. Decent amount of head coming out on it. Go ahead and turn. Oh, I didn't show you guys. Uh, pretty cool label, Barrel Thief. There you go. Guy's stuck in the barrel. It's like jail, and he's got his little bandit's handkerchief on. So, pretty cool. I can already smell the aroma coming out of me. Um, very, very orange. Almost like a slight uh, brownish tinge on that orange. Uh, nice big white head to it. Looks on the thick side. Ooh. Very, very, very robust aroma. A little grapefruity, orangey. But it's less It's less of like fresh. Well, there's a little bit of, uh, of a fresh aspect in there for, for the citrus. But it's, it's more like sugary kind of concentrated sweetness. Like if it's dehydrated. This one's really good. Um, super citrusy, just like you would think like a West Coast IPA would be. Well, imperial in the sense. I get a little bit of the oaky characteristic, but I was actually expecting the the citrusy aroma to be significantly less because of the oak barrel aging, but it's not. So let's see if that translates in the actual flavor. Oh, wow. I actually get a lot of wood coming through on it. A lot of oak. That is interesting. I'm going to need to process this for a second. Huh. It is good. I, I was confused at first because uh, I was not expecting the oak to be that strong, especially not up front. I figured it would be more toward the uh, back of the flavor, but it hits you strong, like right up front. There's some nice citrusy aspect in it, but like I said, it just like in the nose, there was more of, a, of like a dried citrus because, because it's more like a sweetness to it. Um, it's pretty um, viscous as far as I, uh, Imperial IPAs go. It's you know much more thick, big mouth feel to it, almost a little bit chewy, uh, a little bit tannic that because you kind of get that from the wood. It's like you know kind of tastes a little bit like a block of wood kind of. But the the wood is almost ha has like a bit of a spice aspect to it. It hits you so hard. Uh, real interesting. I would not say this is amazing because there's a lot of wood going on on it. I think I'd like a little bit less wood, but it is good nonetheless. Certainly I'll drink this. I don't think it tastes like the 9.4% though. I think the wood, the tannic aspect of the wood and the bitterness that it imparts is helping to kind of hide a little bit of that ABV. So that's nice. Uh, let's see if it has anything interesting. Just not, not much. Tropical fruit hop character that tangles with hints of vanilla, dried fruit and toasted almond. I get toast and almond. I can see the, I can see a bit of that vanilla actually. No, I don't think I can get toasted almond. I actually ate some almonds a while ago and don't get toasted almond, but the, the vanilla, yes. Um, solid beer, interesting beer, very interesting beer. 
Um, not a bad offering by Odell, especially to be my first. So, uh, Odell, I look forward to trying to get a hold of more of your stuff, and hopefully I do, and I've heard great things. So, awesome. Anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out, and uh, just like I'm doing, go have yourself a good beer.